What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Chess Giant. Today's video, we got a quick little speed run for you guys up to the 2100 level, playing the Nimzo Larson attack as white every single game with B3 and as black. No matter what white plays, I'm going to be starting that game off with B6, usually going into an English or an Owens defense. Okay, so here we go. Traditional move, guys, after B3 and Bishop B2, which, by the way, you can just pre-move, is E3. And at this point, okay, Knight F3. Uh, let's play a move like A3 here. A4, B4 can be played. D4 now. C4 on the way, breaking through on the queen side a little bit. Uh, nice C3. C5. I'll take I'll take away from the center. Uh, I usually don't do that, but okay. I mean, let's just activate our bishop on B2 here. Uh, okay. Black's trying to get a little Q. I'll play bishop D3. Queen D4 might be an option here. Uh, okay, nice C7. Castle king side. Knight E2. This knight can't move except for the square of E8. Okay, knight b5 is played. Okay, knight e4. I'll bring my queen back. I'm okay with that. Knight d4. Capture back with the knight. Capture back with the bishop. Uh, okay, let's play f3. Start kicking this knight around. h4. Okay, this knight's just trapped now. Of course, e5 can be played, but okay, I just take back. Uh, queen g3. Okay, not much of a threat. I'm at material now, so let's just start trading down, or trying to. Okay, kick that bishop out. Uh, okay, queen h4. e5, knight f5. Active bishop once again. Um, thankfully, we are up on time right now. Okay, take the bishop. Take the pawn off. Throw in a check. Take the pawn. Throw in a check again. Nice bishop on b2. Very common theme, guys, in the uh, in the Nimzo Larson. Okay, take with check now. Take on g7. And there you go. We got a ball game. First game of the books. Let's keep rolling. Okay, it's black. b6. No matter what white plays, we'll see what they go with. Okay, e4. So now we're playing the owns defense. Okay, bishop a6. This is something you guys may see sometimes. The opponent here just trying to play something cheap. Obviously, if you do pre-move bishop b7 as black, you can run into losing your bishop and your rook, which uh, is disastrous, right? But in this case, okay, so I'm talking too much. We're down 12 seconds, but we are up in material. So it should be okay. Let's take off that centralized pawn. Um, okay, bishop c5 on the way now. Let's see what white comes up with. Uh, okay, knight f2 with check. Take the rook. Not sure if I can keep winning material there. Okay, check. Takes. Bishop b4. I'm up nine points of material now, so here white's just trying to win on time. But uh, it's going to take a miracle. I mean, this is just crushing for black. Check. Uh, let's play king e7. Keep the tension there a little bit. Uh, okay, there white's just doing that now. So take the rook off. Rook d8. Boom. Game over. Keep it rolling. So yeah, that's something you guys might run into is the opponent trying to, you know, play something cheap. Um, but in that case, you know, just don't pre-move right away unless you, you know, just use your gut there. But I mean, most players aren't going to play bishop a6. It's pretty gutsy to do that. D5. Uh, okay. I mean, let's just take in the center. Guys, this opening is really nice, uh, especially for pre-moving. Um, it's hard for the opponent to take advantage of it. And as black, I mean, you're just playing normal chess. Okay, knight f6. Take back the queen. Let's play c5. That move may, may have been a little bit premature, honestly, but okay. We move on. Nice e6. Uh, okay. We're going to castle queen side as well, honestly, because we have a pin against that queen on d3. And uh, we're putting a ton of pressure on d4 with, I mean, almost all of our pieces. Okay, knight takes d4. Attacking that queen. Queen e5. Uh, okay, I'll trade down. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, we can continue with nice e6. Take back with the king now. Bishop b5, okay, we'll take back. King c8, I don't want to get pinned there. Okay, we're still going to see that move, knight c6. Bishop b7, rook d8, should be okay here. Just keep playing calm. Try not to give the opponent too many weaknesses to work with. Bishop d6, okay, so that is a tricky move to go up against, but in that case we'll just play rook d8. And, okay, boom. Whole idea being if you take on e7, I can take on d1 and then get your knight back. So we're up. A couple pawns of material, but it is bishops of opposite color. Um, 
So we got to be careful and just start to use the clock to our advantage. I could have taken there actually. Bishop d5. Okay. They're not falling for that again. Get the bishop back. f5. Okay. I just fell for that. So, okay. Now we are three pawns for a piece. Um, I still like black here in this time control, but, you know, guys, bullet chest, can't ever rest, can't ever think you're winning. g3, f3, f2, offer a trade of pawns, start moving my king down this way, see what, okay. In that case, I'm not going to waste time taking that pawn off quite yet. I'm just going to, okay, there you go, boom, bada bang, bada boom, take the pawn off, king b2, start chucking my pawn down the board. We only got four seconds, but thankfully time is... It's its a lot easier to play with the queen, obviously, right, in this position than the other side. I mean, not just because you have a queen, but because of pre-moving. Queen b8. Queen b3. Okay, got that one on the books. Let's keep it rolling. As, as black again. Pre-moving to b6. Um, okay, d3, interesting option. Bishop b7. Um, we could play something in some lines like g5, but in this case, I mean, we're just going to play normal e6. Obviously, there we just lose a pawn to the bishop. Knight f6. Um, you know, usually if the opponent doesn't fight for the center, I kind of like to play d5, right? And just go into a kind of a Kali Zuck or Tort type system. Um, here's black. Castle on king side. Okay, knight d7. Uh, okay, I mean, white's spending a lot of time there to get that pawn to h6. I could have actually just taken it off. Okay, g6. Um, Bishop g5 is played. e5. <clears throat> it's hard and bullet. I mean, it's just, you know, you got to you really use your instinct and not calculate too much. I mean, you can calculate a little bit, but obviously you only have one minute for the entire game, right? So you just got to keep it rolling. Um, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to play moves that are accidentally good as well. So, okay, knight g5. Uh, okay, I can't really be cute with the king there, so, okay, let's just start expanding the queen side, ask what white is going to do with those pieces, okay, queen b3, nice option, I'll just defend the pawn though, uh, I'll play rook b8, trying to open up against that queen, uh, okay, queen there, knight e8 can be played, thank you for the minor piece, and the pawn's going to fall too, probably knight f3, yeah, there you go, take there, Okay, queen g7. Okay, here white playing aggressively, which I can't blame them. I mean, it's bullet chess. Give it all you got. Queen b5. Take the pawn off. Okay, there white just giving up the queen. We can continue now. Knight c6. d3 check. c4. h5. I will take that pawn. King g7. Okay, you're going to get my rook. Uh, okay. Thank you for the piece in that case. En passant. Here white playing pretty smart bullet chess. I mean, just trying to get me on the clock. Um, boom, boom, boom. Can't think too much here. Just keep moving. Check the king. Boom, check, check the king. Okay, we got it. <clears throat> so we're moving up the ladder here. 2046 now. Trying to hit 2100 by the end of this thing. B6. Um, okay, bishop e7, e6 is played. Uh, okay, in this case, let's just uh, put some pressure on that knight. And castle kingside. Capture that knight off the board, expand with d5. This knight moves, we got d4 ideas. Um, c5. Capture towards the center with that pawn. Okay, d4. Kick that queen back. Let's start getting this knight involved if we can. I mean, knight e7, knight e5, we'll take back. We can activate a rook here on the b-file. Play a move like queen c7. I almost played queen a5, that would have been bad. Uh, okay, knight c3. This knight is a, a headache for white to have to deal with at the moment, so I'm going to try to keep a knight there, knight e5, defending it. We can play rook e8 as well. Take back the knight. Okay, so the white's just trying to get rid of that, that that minor piece. Queen b6. Defend the pawn. Queen b4, probably on the way here. Um, we'll see what white comes up with. I mean, okay. You want to go there? I'll just play queen b6. Rook b4, maybe. Um, 
Okay, I'm just going to play it safe. I mean, I'm up on time here. Defend the pawn, defend the pawn. E4 is played, h6. So my king can start to run if needed. Um, queen e5, queen d4 maybe. Okay, I mean, the pawn drops, queen d4. Rook c7, just trying to hold this thing together. Okay, boom. Obviously now I'm just losing a rook. But my opponent doesn't take the rook. Okay, king b6. Throw in a check, throw in rook b2, ball game, keep it rolling. Okay, here we go. Um, you know what it is. Nimza Larson attack b3, bishop b2, f6. Okay, so we're going for a little fried fox defense here from black, um, or at least a version of it. e3, knight f3. Um, sometimes you can play a move like c4, try to play hyperdynamic, put some pressure on the center, trade a flank pawn for center. Um, it's definitely fun. Okay, bishop b5 pinning that knight. Queen e7. I mean, are you going to castle queenside? Okay, d4. One nice thing, guys, about the uh, Nimza Larson as well is that you can feed and shadow this bishop and then activate a rook uh, pretty pretty early on if you'd like to. King b8. Okay, knight a4. Putting some pressure on c5. We'll take with the knight. We'll take with the bishop next. Uh, b6. Okay, honestly, I'm okay with kind of just starting to sack material here. Try to open up that king on b8. Okay, they're black trying to hang on to everything they have. Um, okay, we'll just take the rook off though. Get this queen out. Rook c1 on the way. Uh, maybe bishop a6. Okay, yeah, bishop a6. We're eyeing queen b5 and rook c8. Okay, so nice c8 is played. Ball game. Keep it rolling. Okay, b3 as always. Bishop b2. D4, interesting way to play this. Um, I mean, okay, I'll just play knight of three, put some pressure on that pawn, e3, play bishop b5. Now I'm trying to play this like an owns defense, honestly. If you want to play e5, it's already pinned, right? Okay, queen d5, uh, let's just take the knight off, bring the knight back. Offer a trade because we're up upon a material. Uh, take towards the center, which is going to fix our pawn structure, if they do decide to take. If they don't, I mean... Okay, we're just going to continue winning material here. Bishop takes d4. Let's give them isolated pawns, double isolated pawns as well. d3, c3, king d2, king c2. Got to tuck my, my king away to a safe spot. Um, okay, knight d2. Okay, that rook is very annoying, in all honesty. Rook e1. Try to trade down here. Rook there. Rook there. So there you got to trade down. I'm attacking the bishop. Okay, knight c4. Nice little outpost for that knight. Rook e8 is not possible because the knight d6 would check. Thank you for the rook. And, uh, okay, at that point, we're just going to start picking off these pawns like candy. And uh, we're in business. Okay, so next game. Guys, this is one of my favorite openings. All-time controls. I actually played it in my last tournament, uh, v3. Um, varying success. But, I mean, this is just a solid opening. Um, and uh, it's surprising how hard it's how hard it is to go against i mean guys i was playing this in classical games i mean i'm talking three four five hour games my opponents were spending the majority of their time in the first five moves i mean it's just hard to go against and uh can give you very good positions right at the get-go so okay b3 uh pre-move 92 here not really seeing anything black can do also very interesting setup from black here little you know pawn cube not pawn cube cube formation from black um looks like i lagged on time there so okay i mean uh c4 Take on c4, take on e5, push with e4, play nice c4, maybe bishop a3 coming soon. Okay, b5, interesting. Uh, I'll just bring the knight back, put some pressure on a on that pawn now. Let's see, attack the rook, b4, could have taken that pawn. Rook c1, okay, again, nice c4. I mean, black here is really pushing hard. Um, they've actually got themselves a pretty nice little position here. But, uh, okay, I mean, you move on. Knight d2. I do have the c4 score, which is nice. So i got to keep taking advantage of that. Okay, black playing very aggressively there, giving up a uh, giving up the exchange. Um, I, in return, got to try to break up the king side now to get some kind of counterplay in return. I mean, if you want to trade down, I'm cool with that. Uh, okay, they're black uh, getting the uh, exchange back. I can capture back now. Okay, bring the rook over. Uh, okay, looks like I might lose this one, boys. Uh, I mean, check. 
g4, king g2. Okay, this is just ball game. I'll resign that one. Keep it rolling. Lagged on time a little bit there. Hopefully the audio ended up all right. Um, okay, b3, bishop b2, e3. Sometimes you can actually transpose into a bird's opening, which is definitely nice. Um, nice little way to play that. Uh, this is one of my favorite ways to play the bird. Bishop e2, e3, fianchetto that bishop. I mean, it just gives us some great positions, especially knight e5. is almost near. It's nearly un un unstoppable in a ton of lines. Um, so yeah, it's a fun chess. G6, okay, I'll sack that knight. It's not really sacking the knight because I'm getting a rook out of the deal. Uh, yeah, let's let him check. In that case, we will do that. Bada bing, bada boom. Throw in a check again. Uh, okay, nice e3. Let's see, knight e2, knight e4. Queen f5, forcing a trade. e6, I'll bring the knight back. Uh, okay, there. Let's just start pushing pawns. Might as well. Uh, knight of three. D4 would be nice if I can get that in. If I was black, well, I mean, even E5 runs into G6. So, I mean, black's just in some trouble here. We'll take the pawn. We'll play D4. Uh, okay, there. Rookie one. Hold the pawn chain together. Knight E5. Knight E4. Okay, those are some nice, nice minor pieces for black. I gotta try to get rid of that knight, honestly. That knight is a headache. Okay, king f3. It looks like the knights are starting to get kind of kicked around, though. Um, okay, let's do that. King there. Okay, I'm cool with that. This knight's still attacked. It's got to go somewhere. I mean, this is this pawn is not far away, guys. Um, of course, I am down on time. So, bada bang, bada boom, make a queen here. No way to stop that. Check. Rook over. Throw in a check if I can manage it. Guys, knights are very hard to go up against in bullet. I mean, I, I have a queen and I'm still, you know, I mean, knights are tough. They're just, they're hard to predict, which is definitely nice when you're trying to pre-move and get your opponent to run out of time. I mean, guys, oftentimes bullet's going to come down to the last, you know, both sides have five to ten seconds left and it's just a ball game. It's just, you know, a couple possessions left. Who can, who can pull it out? So knights are very nice because you can play a move, you know, play a check, play a check, play a check. Um, you know, they're a lot less predictable, or a lot, uh, yeah, a lot less predictable than bishops. Um, I mean, if you have a dark squared bishop, the opponent could just put their pawns in light squares, and it's going to be hard for your bishop to make much of a, much noise, right? And, and at least in a quicker time control. So, okay, we play B, we play B6, being shadow our bishop, E6. We'll go for the same setup again, kind of a, a reverse Dutch now, um, kind of game. I mean, we have a ton of pressure on E4, which is nice. H6, you want to trade down, I'm cool with that. We have the bishop pair now, castle on king side. So mess up white pawn structure a little bit. Uh, play queen e7. So we got some weaknesses here. So here I'm going to try to go for an end game. Nice e6 with development. Uh, okay, I mean rook d8, d6. Trying to lock that up a little bit. Um, okay, let's trade, and then play the move of e5. I didn't want to allow knight of five ideas. Uh, the queen goes back. Uh, let's play a5 now. Kind of a reverse pyramid here. Bishop a6. Attacking the pawn on c4. So again, we gotta we gotta go into those weaknesses. Queen f7. Um, okay, I can't take. Uh, I can't play there though. Threatening there. Okay, so there we see a trade. Bishop e6. I'll bring the rook back. Bishop d5 might be a move there uh, in the very near future. Rook c8. I gotta play c6. Um, Try to, try to start kicking this bishop around. Uh, of course, it is defended now. So maybe a move like rook f8 is good. We'll see. Bishop g6 gives us some issues. So, I mean, okay, we'll take... Move our king over. We don't gonna, we don't want to get mated there, obviously. Um, okay. We still don't want to get mated. Um, looks like we're in trouble, though. So, okay, we got to give to the exchange... It's not the best situation, honestly, but whatever. You move on. Rook d6. King there. Okay, I mean. Okay, didn't fall for it. Uh, c5. We are uh, running out of time, obviously. e4. Boom, bada bang. King d2. c3. 
three. Okay, they're giving up the rook. I could I could resign this honestly. I mean, but whatever. Move on. E two. Move the king back and forth. Seems like my opponent's using a little bit of time, but they finish it out with uh, half a second left. I've said it many times, guys. You're probably getting tired of it at this point. If you are, let me know down in the comments so I can stop saying it. But, you know, bullet chest. Never think that you've won. Never think that you've lost. Keep going until the time's out. You never know. Okay, so we got b6. Let's get a couple wins here. b6, bishop b7, attacking the pawn on e4. Okay, d3. I'm going to go after that pawn chain right away. Bishop b7. I'm cool trading down. I'm going to play d5 here. Um, knight f6 now. As much pressure as I can on that pawn. And okay, now we just win the pawn. Uh, okay, bishop d7, however, okay, knight d7 could be played. If you want to trade down, I'm cool with that. We still have e4 defended by our bishop. Uh, queen d4, we'll just take back. Queen takes g7, okay. Uh, castle queenside, now you can't take my bishop unless you want to run into that, which obviously just gives us a minor piece. Take with the king, just for fun. Uh, get the king back, take with the queen now. We got a queen versus wreck end game, which is obviously in our favor with plenty of time on the clock. So no need to, you know, pre-move here. Queen c5, I mean, there's no way for white to hang on to all these pawns. Throwing a check. Throwing a boom. E5, start just pushing up pawns, honestly. H3, okay, I'm cool with that. Check. Check. Check again. King b7. F5, E4, Queen D2 probably, uh, yeah, Queen D2, F4, F3, okay, you want to do that, that's cool, take on B2, take on A2, take with the king, and now we're off to the races for a second queen, resignation, keep it rolling, okay, the Nimzel Arsene attack B3, um, one nice thing about this guy is you're fighting for the center, but you're not yet using a central pawn, and development comes very quickly. E3, bring the knight out. Um, okay, let's put some pressure on the center there. C4, knight C3, rook C1. Again, key idea, you can activate that rook very quickly if you'd like to. Um, here, black playing pretty well. I like this pyramid structure for black. Um, okay, we'll, we'll transpose into a D4 system. Uh, maybe A3. Uh, okay, we're not going to play E3 now because they just captured it. So, okay, bishop A3 now. Attacking the rook. Thank you for the rook. Bishop e2. Yeah, castle on king side. I mean, this queen's not really making any kind of threat at the moment. Um, so, yeah, we'll just try to trade down with it. The queen goes straight back. Uh, let's play something like 95. I mean, we're at the exchange. Let's start trading down, right? Queen d7, bishop f3. Trying to make it so that c5 can't be played. Rook d1. We got some active rooks here, which is nice. d5. Okay, c5 now. Uh, in that case, let's just, again, offer a trade. Queen d6, we can play... Eh, let's bring the queen back. Knight b5 ideas now. We will play knight b5 against that queen. d6, offer trade. Okay, they don't want it, but we're still going to trade. Uh, again, guys, you're up material, just keep offering trades. Offer trades, offer trades, offer trades. Knight uh, c7, ooh. You don't want to do that because of 95. Uh, okay, we'll throw in a little check. We'll take that guy off. We'll play queen d3. We'll play queen d5. d7, f4. Okay, let's take the bishop off. e5, e6, d7. Uh, check. Take the pawn off. Nice play here from black, honestly, under these time controls. Um, okay, I just lost my queen because I'm down on time and I can't think as long, although, okay. Check. Check. Just keep moving here. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh. Somehow here I got a winning position, but I'm still down on time. So I gotta get both these pawns here so I at least get a draw here. I'm going to keep just moving my queen back and forth. I mean, black's pre moves aren't going to work as my queen is taking away squares, right? And boom, there you go. Got the win.
This is white. Here we go. B3. Uh, yeah, if you can show that bishop. Interesting system here. Probably going to go for a check perk. Um, yeah, that's what they're doing. Knight of three. Let's play C4. You know, C4 is a nice little move to throw in there if you'd like. H3. Bishop E2 now. At the right moment, you can play D4. Or just hold off, right? Um, keep that pawn on D2. Okay, so they're black wasting a little bit of time. Uh, we'll castle kingside. We'll play knight d2, knight e4, start to trade down a little bit. Uh, okay, let's play queen c2. We got the bishop here, which is nice in the end game. Um, take towards center, take back with the pawn, really. d5, nice bishop on b2. Very common and uh, very common thing you see in the Washington opening, guys. Put the bishop there, it's going to be a solid piece. They're black, um, trying to trade down. In that case, we'll play bishop g4. We will actually offer a trade. I'm okay with getting rid of that knight. Um, Wiping out that rank as well. Rook there. Let's play f5. F6 ideas. Um, yeah, let's learn a little check. You want to do that. Okay. Um, check again. Check. I didn't I didn't see that rookie five idea. I was only seeing King G5. So rookie five. Okay, I mean in that case, think of the pawn. Uh, this king only has so many options. Um, we can throw in a check. Yeah, <clears throat> I think we got a forced mate here, or pretty close to it at least. Check again. Check again. Queen h5. Just keep checking. Keep making them, you know, create some weaknesses pawn structure wise. Got the game. <clears throat> okay, here's black b6. Say really the only move that I think b6 doesn't work great against is the Hungarian opening with g3, but even then, I mean, you play you play knight c6 against bishop g2 and you're good. Here we got Owen's defense. We're going to put pressure on the center. Now we're going to put pressure on the uh, on the piece that's defending the center, right? So we're pinning that knight. Take the knight off the board. Uh, we'll play d5 here, breaking through in the center. This bishop's already having to move around a little bit. Um, okay, so in this case, we can bada boom, bada bang. We have queen h4 ideas in the Owen's defense, which is always nice. Um, we can just pre-move that actually. So okay, we're up a point. We're up one point in material. On top of that, I mean, talk about bad pawn structure for white. Bishop g5. Uh, okay, I'm fine with that. We'll play knight d7. Try to keep our pawn structure intact. Maybe castle queenside. Um, let's play h6 first though. Knight d4 ideas. Okay, white stops that with rookie one. Nice move there. A5. I don't want to allow a5 from white. C4 might be seen soon. Uh, okay, it is. King B7. Uh, let's play King A7. Get, just get that rook out of the way of a move like... Or that king out of the way of a move like C5. Knight E5. Let's defend that pawn. D4 is under attack. Of course, I just gave up of an exchange. So we are back in the dogfight here. You know how bullet chess goes. C6. King C7. Knight D7. Rook e8, uh, okay, g6, f5, this knight's going to come in here, uh, king d6, I'm going to hold off for a second on the knight move, because white's probably going to capture it, g5, g4 check, take with the pawn, rook up there, bada bing, bada boom, Start marching this king up. I mean, why not, right? Uh, G3. Knight there. Rook there. Knight there. Check. I'm wanting to mate white here. Uh, okay, white tries to stop it. But we're still going to get the whip. We're still going to get the dub. Very, uh, very nice ideas. Um, I made, I made videos on the Owens defense. Um, the Nimza Larson attack also calls, also called the Larson's opening. I called it Larson, uh, Larson's opening in the video. So, um, yeah, if you guys do, uh, look that up, just look up the Larson's and you'll see it there. B3. If you look at the Nimza Larson, you'll see it as well. Um, B3, Bishop B2. Um, we've covered the English defense, which is B6 against D4. I mean, really B3, B6, great options from both sides. Um, looking to potentially make a course on it soon. Um, I saw Gotham Chess made a course on B3 and B6, although I haven't I haven't bought it. So okay, you know, for the purpose of the video, we're gonna play B6. 
you know, it doesn't necessarily work the best always, but I mean, it's still okay. I mean, the, the only way for white to really do anything crazy is to take the knight off. Uh, maybe d4 was good there, forcing a move like e6, going into a Catalan type system, but okay, I mean, h5 here, h4. Uh, yeah, let's take that pawn off. Play knight f6. Trying to take control of those light scores, knight f5. Trying to weaken these light scores a little bit. Um, okay, but white playing well there in that case. Uh, rook g8. I don't want, really want to trade there. Queen d7 can be played. We'll take the check against the king. I have three with castle. g5 maybe. I like to play g4, and we will not play g4 because of c7. Bring that rook up. Mm. Okay, boom. G4. Uh, let's try to trade down that knight. So here, guys, we're obviously down on time. And now down materials to take the knight off. Uh, knight d6. King e7. Take that guy off. Activate our minor pieces. Attack the rook. F5. Bada boom, bada bang. Bring the knight up again. Okay, I mean, why trying to win material there? That pawn might fall on d5. Of course, we've got to hold on to f5 at the moment. We're going to get that pawn now. We're going to take, we're going to go boom. We're going to go back. Uh, okay, check. Boom. Boom. b5. There. There. King back. Knight there. Oh. Just keep moving this queen, guys. Keep moving the queen. Ah, I'm out of time. Got to draw. Keep rolling. Okay, b3. So, you know, we're, we're using... We're getting really a minor piece, a bishop, out into the game right away. Putting pressure on d5 there. Whenever I see a move like d6, I like to put as much pressure on that pawn as I can right away. I mean, knight f3, d4, bishop b2... Oftentimes, bishop b5 ideas in the air, pinning that knight as well. Um, here, we will play bishop b5. Um, yeah, we're going to try to trade down before we play c4. That way, our bishop's not passive on, e, uh, on a square like e2. We will now put pressure on e4, which is a little bit extended. Um, I'm not going to say overextended, but okay. I mean, we'll go after it. Uh, we got some interesting pawn structure here in the center. Uh, really, two pawn chains. Um, thankfully for me, I, I still have one pawn island here. I haven't doubled my pawns at all, which is nice. Could start to expand on the queen side. Um, seems like black's trying to expand on the king side there. So I'm going to play f3, start to chip away at the center. I personally, if there's a pawn race on two sides of the board, I much rather would be on the king side, right? I mean, look, you take all the material you want. As long as I checkmate your king, I'm going to be okay. h3, rook f2, start to double up some rooks there. Uh, okay, bishop h5, bring the key. Queen back. Rook f4, maybe? Ooh, okay. So you do got to be mindful of the queen side, obviously. Took back with the knight. So we put pressure on c6. Problem as well, I mean, if we if we take back the a pawn, rook a8 is possible, and that's not the best for us. So, okay, I mean, we play rook f4. Okay, that at that point, we'll just start to trade down. We'll play g4. Kicking that knight back. We'll play queen g3. This bishop can't kick us around at any point. So we'll start to hold on to our knights. Play g5. If I can find the time, I want to just start just chucking down, chucking this pawn down the board. Um, looks like I might be finding time here. It's pretty well defended up till a7. Okay, the queen goes back. I'll start to pester black there. Knight takes c6. Uh, okay, queen goes back. Pre-move there. They're probably going to do something crazy down there. So, okay, knight back. Queen over. Uh, okay, king. Just gotta start pre moving, get that king out. Thankfully, I had an edge on the clock, which is big. And, you know, by the way, guys, bullet chess, I mean, if you're down on the clock, that is a huge loss. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're down on the clock and you're, and you have a losing position, you're just done, right? But if you, um, if you have a, if you're down on the clock and, 
if you're up on the clock and you have a losing position, you still have a chance, right? So really the second you go down on time, it everything depends on the board. Whereas if you're up on time, you always have a chance. So I try to just at least stay in range on the clock. You know, obviously I didn't do that too well a little bit ago, but you know, I try my best to really make that a priority, um, opposed to just thinking and spending a ton of time trying to figure out, okay, man, if I play this move, maybe the evaluation is a little bit, it doesn't matter. Just, just play chess, play moves. You'll be fine. Um, okay. No real crazy tricks there. So I'll bring the rook back. C4 is a big weakness. Of course, I just gave it my rook because I was talking too much and I, uh, I didn't think, right? So you do got to think a little bit. Um, Rook d5, c5, uh, king g6. I mean, again, see, I'm, if I was up 10 seconds here, I'd have a chance. Uh, c4, I don't want to really trade. Rook e5, f5, rook e4, king over, king over, king up back um okay white not making a ton of progress yet okay two check a4 okay one throw my rook over to a light square where it's probably not going to get pre-moved at um okay takes okay play king b7 start to trade down i don't want to really trade in this position but i didn't have much of a choice um Take the bishop, take the pawn, try to get opposition, but I can't. Okay, at this point, guys, I'm just losing. Um, see, I'm, I'm running out of time because I can't move my king because they keep taking away squares. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can finish this out with a streak. B3, fight for the central squares, play E3. The second you see knight C6, start putting pressure on that knight. Oftentimes a bullet chest will hang the pawn on e5, as we've seen. In this case, we can actually play f4. Um, very fun idea. Whole idea being if you take or push, we can just take on g7 and say thank you for the rook. Um, yeah, let's just take the pawn. I mean, we can still take the rook whenever we want. So why give up a pawn on g2 if we don't have to? Um, yeah, take the rook off. We're now at four points of material. Attacking the knight now. Um... Yeah, let's take the knight off. Now we're attacking the bishop on c2. Of course, black does have check ideas, so okay. Check, check. Check. I don't really... I don't know. I don't want to give up my pawn on e3 necessarily. Um, but okay, I'll do it. Seems as if black does have some chances now. Queen c1. King up. But I do have knight d2. Uh, knight f3, rook d1, gotta trade down here, guys. We're up in material, gotta trade, gotta trade, gotta trade. Rook e8, I mean, queen d3, knight over, bishop e5, get my bishop back in the action here. Offer trade as always, you know me. King up, king f5. Um, okay, we'll just take the pawn off. We got rook h1 now. Black's not far from getting checkmated here. Um, still. King over, king over, king over. Uh, okay, I mean. Block with the knight. Pretty move the king back up. There you have it. <clears throat> Big thanks to y'all who've been uh, supporting the channel. Um, it's been a really awesome experience for me being able to make these videos. And I'm excited to keep making more. Um, knight e5 is played. Okay, let's just get that knight out or just take the knight. Knight e4. Um, by the way, guys, I was trying to say thank you there, but I got a little bit distracted by the game. Uh, rook f2. Takes queen there. Queen there. See if white can... Give us even more material. Um, okay, we'll take. We'll play nice e6. I mean, there's really no reason for us not to just keep the tension here, right? I mean, we got great ideas, nice e4. 
which we're going to play right now. Check. There you have it. Okay, guys, this might be the last game. If I can manage to win it, as we will hit the rating of 2100. Uh, bishop e2, e3. Very simple idea. Here, black not playing a pawn to e5, which I honestly think is in black's best interest. But now we're playing kind of a queen's Indian defense, but from the but from the white side. Um, very similar to Nimzo Indian as well. In fact, I'm just going to take there. Play d3, play queen e2. I'm really just playing this guy as a Nimzo now, but up a tempo. We'll play e4, e5 in the air. Okay, d4 is played in that case. Knight d2, c4 is a great spot for our knight. Attacking the bishop, attacking the pawn. Um, okay, in that case, we will do that. We'll play a4, bishop a3 next. Got to go after these pawns. If you see a pawn on c5 that's doubled, start locking it up as quickly as you can. Don't allow a move like c4 to ever be played. Looks like here Black's trying to compensate for it on the king side, which is, you know, probably what I do. I mean, f5, f4, Black is definitely making some space there. Um, g5, we'll play h3. King h2. Rook there, just in case things break open at some point. King f7. Okay, knight c4 at that point. I'm okay with doubling up the pawns, uh, potentially. Um, okay. h4. We'll take, we'll play rook h2, just to hold things together. Rook h1. King back. Uh, okay. Just take the pawn there. Uh, H4, H5 maybe? These pieces are nice, but they're not really super active at the same time. But of course, we can just take take the queen. Rook H6. Wow, that king is bold. Uh, attacking the rook. Thank you for the bishop. Thank you for the pawn. Thank you for the check. Thank you for the knight. Thank you for the rook. Thank you for the pawn. I mean, just thank you. Thank you. For a second, I thought I had stalemate there. That would have been scary. There's nothing worse than having a stalemate, guys, when you're uh, just completely winning. So, anyways, thanks for watching this video. And special thanks to y'all who have been supporting us on Patreon. Be sure to check the link below to see what kind of benefits you can get if you join our Patreon community. Those of you who do that are making it possible for me to make better chess content and make it on a more regular basis. If you'd like to learn the theory behind the Nimza Larson attack or the Larson's opening, click that video to the left. If you'd like to see my top 10 chess openings for black against the move of D4, click that video to the right. Leave a comment down below to let me know other videos you'd like to see covered on this channel. And as always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.